Here we go, friends and fans. This is it. It is time to face up against Leon. Champion Leon is next. Night has fallen. Which is going to moonlight a truly spectacular match. If I do say so myself. Let's do this. Let's take on the undefeatable champion. How will I fare against Leon? We are about to find out. Okay, community question. If you've already been in this game, what was your team that you brought all the way to the finals and defeated champion Leon with for the first time? What was your first team of Pokemon that completed the Pokemon League? That's my community question. There he is. He's just waiting. Oh, I'm excited. The tints still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer, and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time! I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon! Me and Charizard, and all the rest of our team, We'll use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I'm a little intimidated. Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What is that on the big screen? Oh, no. Hello there, Leon and Brenton. Just letting you know... It is time I brought about the darkest day, for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm a bit in the pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain! Um... I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Someone's for that match with Leon. I was right! I mean, I kind of thought maybe this would happen, but Cohen Bowes made it sound like it wasn't going to happen yet, so, uh... Lee! Brenton! That video stream! That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday... Did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've gotta see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is a real champion time! Gosh dang it. But Lee, you're terrible at directions! What if you get lost along the way? Just have Charizard fly you to Hammerlock! It's not that hard! He can fly now! Thanks to Pokemon Yellow, he can fly. I've gotta help my brother, Brenton! I've got to! But I can't even m manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help! We can help as a team! Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's that thing where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing this, that about? 
And where do you even hear that name? Uh, statue? That statue they hear in Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Oh yeah, that would have been the correct answer anyways. Um, though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? Yep, right outside my front door! Wow, how many Pokemon games can you say the Legendary was right at the very beginning of the game, huh? We should try to find them, Brenton, but where to start looking? Slumbering Weld, of course. That's it, Brenton. I'm sure it's got to be the Slumbering Weld. The illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to Slumbering Weld. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Whoop. Yes, we're not fighting Leon yet. Whoops. Hmm. Huh? Brinton and Hop? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm of something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm not sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region of ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Brenton? Uh, mostly the search for the sword Pokemon. Then we'll figure out this whole darkest day thing. I suppose if the legends are true, then the Sword and Shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the Darkest Day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, take this. You should head to the Slumming Well. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Max Revives! Hopefully I won't need him. All that matters is that you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Ready for this, Brinton? I wonder if we're about to head into a wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us now. We've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wulu that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. I'm going on bike. Cause we can't waste time here. Gosh dang I'm wasting time here. Really? Really? A slow bit after all of this? It's like level two, isn't it? Nailed it. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. We're here for one reason only. It's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> no! Get out of the way, Squobit! I should have put on Repel. Although, I'm not sure it would have done anything about the overworld Pokemon running around. I tried that once before, but it didn't seem to chase them off. Wow, I found a blip bug though. Didn't know blip bug were even in the slumbering well. Could have figured, but I didn't know. We don't have the time! Thank you! Let's do this. Well, this is definitely different. 
So I never had to turn before. Oh my! Well, the Pokemon are getting stronger, that's for sure. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, jeez. Let's see. We got Corviknight. Full Restores. Ooh, Muna's here. Nice. Jeez, I don't know where I'm going. And that's not because of the fog. Mental Herb. Just keep heading north, I guess. Uh, I might as well grab that, though. Oh, no. <laughs> There's Stunfisk here, too. I can tell by the spot on the ground. Yeah, no, not fine for that. Sorry. Been there, done that. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. I'm not noticing it any worse. There it is! That's better. I mean, that's worse. Excuse me. Oh. They're both here. But why do they look like that? They really are here! The sword and the shield Pokémon! I knew it! Oh, credit. And they're gone. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here! You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya! You must have seen that, right? Those, those Sword and Shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There are no one here but the two of you. There was no one here but the two of you. But... They were just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions, and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the steel Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering well sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Ta, Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it was just illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Oh, Hop, jump into conclusions so quickly. Okay, there's nothing over here. Oh boy, the fog's getting worse! Also, there's some water I could be surfing on, but... Actually, I kind of want to go there. Oh well. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. I'd almost imagine Xerneas being here. Would you take a look at that, Brenton? Now that's something you don't see every day. That place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Well, here we go. Let's take on the darkest day. There they are. The sword and shield just laying there. That almost seemed too easy. See that, Brenton? The sword and the shield! The legends really were true! And again, I suppose Zacian and Zamazenta would have just used that fog trick to keep us from coming here. We weren't ready. Well, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Sword, so yeah, I, I choose the sword. Rip not being able to get Galarian Ponita or Gigantamax Lapras. Rusted Sword. It is said that he'll use this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That sells it. I'm taking the shield. So, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you were to so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things would really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck.
maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. I've got a theory, but I won't say it right now. Aw, this doesn't even say anything. Dang it. Oh well. Well, here we go, I guess. I don't know if I should fly. I probably can't, but... Can I? Hmm. Let's see if maybe I can speed this up. Can we get the Hammerlock Stadium from Slumbering Weld? Not from here. Let's try back over here. It seems a lot more open. Whatever saves us time. Will it work this time? No, it will not. Dang it. Okay, gotta go all the way through the slumming weld again to get to a place where I can fly. Actually, I'm not sure I can go into the water now that I'm looking at it. It's not shallow enough. Hi, Muna. I'd love to stay in chat, but... I don't have time! Gosh dang it. Level 46, huh? That's not too challenging. One snipe shot to do it. There we go. Easy down. Got a little bit more experience for my OP team. Perfect. Destiny's gonna level up soon. Hopefully, uh, not before I get out of here. That'd be nice. There we go. Now I just gotta get past the ever so populated squobit. And look at these. And worm of them, if I come across them. Excuse me, not worm of them. Uh, blip bugs. I meant blip bugs. Stay out of my way. I'm trying to save the world, gosh dang it, Blipbug. I'm wondering if I have to save this for another video. <laughs> I really shouldn't have said that. No, I could do this. I could do this in the next uh, 15 minutes. I'm confident in that. All right. Now, let's head to Hammerlock Stadium. Get ready, Darkest Day, because I'm about to blind you with light! Oh. Oh, well, that music, though. At least I don't hear it in the Pokemon Center! They're not worried about anything, they're just doing their job. Hope to see you again! Hopefully not anytime soon! Alright, here we go. Well, if it isn't Brinton and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. 
Oh, Hop. And he's gone. That Hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon, and we've got everyone evacuated. Except for the people at the Pokemon Center, apparently. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region? Of course! Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Yeah, I'm saving first. No way I'm jumping into this blind. Although I really hope the HD recorded, because if it didn't... Oh, hi, Olina. You're part of the problem. G Jim Challenger, you must help me! I mean, please, help me! My Pokémon suddenly died, Max, for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also die in the max and go on the rampage, the underground power plant would collapse! Mr. Rose is down there right now! I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant to stop Mr. Rose. Let me guess, this is the maze portion of the game, isn't it? Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus, which I have already seen. Yay! Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that would happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of our champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what is going on? You know, I just had a dark, dark, dark thought that I don't think is going to happen, but... I have raised the Dynamax level of every single one of my Pokemon, except for Mollus, apparently. I guess I forgot to do Mollus. But everyone but Mollus has the highest Dynamax. What if... And this is like a Sonic um, battle type thing scenario. What if my own Pokemon turned against me? Something tells me we are far from done. Which means... Guess what? We're gonna have to make another part video. We're gonna have to go to a part three. Although, I might go through the labyrinth first. I might go through this power plant first. So, next time! Power plant! Are we ever gonna be able to fight Leon today? We'll find out later! Until then, and until my next videos, this has been We The Play, and I hope you enjoy your day. So, I will catch ya in a flash.